What is going on, friends, new and old? I'm Zedmont. We're going to be doing some Warships stuff. Had a comment yesterday that said, hey, how did you do on Warships? Where did you get to? How did you get there? All that sort of stuff. Going to do a quick review, and then there will be some gameplay. So this account started out on the tech tree, and I went through this stuff. On this account, I went down through here, got into the flares, and oops, I'm not actually drawing. So um, avoided the troop health and was a mistake, I feel. And it's, so this one was my in ahead all along account, and then the other one caught up. So here is my stats. Let's quickly show you here. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six people in diamond in this task force. Beastly, beastly, beastly. Quickly showing you my profile here. 344 battles to get to where I'm at. A reasonable number. I'm going to quickly pause. And just like that, we are on my second account that got into Diamond. Now, this account, looking at the tech tree, I tried to do things differently on this account. This one was, I went along into here, and then down, and then I ended up getting all of this stuff as well. So it was just a complete and utter mess, and I thought this one was completely written off. And then it turned out getting to Diamond first, and so it actually was a learning experience having two accounts. I thought this one was dead and impossible to get to diamond different task force four more people in diamond this is delta nine the previous one was triangle nine so lots and lots of people in diamond this season it seems like quickly gonna check so 261 battles so early on in the season i thought this account was written off but it ended up getting to diamond in 80 fewer battles which is pretty darn good i think and then i'm gonna quickly do one more pause you won't even notice i'm gone the final diamond account. Now this one started at rank zero. I had no chests, no instant training, and we managed to get it to diamond, which I think is super, super impressive. So you'll see I've got cryoneers. I've got basically every single node in the game. And I got it from the very, very beginning. There's a stream on that if you check the cards. It was incredibly boring, and I'm so, so happy some of you stuck around with me during that stream because it was crazy. And winning battles and taking engine rooms with cryoneers was crazy. But the fact that you actually got the rank chests, so we started way back here. The fact that we got the rank chest at rank 2 simply by winning and not taking any engine rooms definitely, definitely helped. I hadn't thought of that in the past. So you can upgrade without actually taking engine rooms, which is kind of nice. Now, as far as the numbers, and also this is, I just want to double check our task force. Let's just quickly have a look at Labadia. This is Infant 9. So two members of our Infant 9 low level HQ locked task force into Diamond. Labadia with 945 battles. That is a ton. Well, well done. Back to me now. Um, Anon Moose, this is... Oh, I... pardon? I never would have guessed this. So 200, my lowest number of battles came by starting a week late. So my assumption is with all the Seeker players had moved up and as a result there was this void in behind them that I managed to somehow ride the wave. So all along I've been saying start super early and this season it was different. So I am incredibly, incredibly impressed with that. Super, super surprising and as you see there my win rate is higher than my other two accounts. Maybe that's because I didn't have instant training, but that is completely and utterly surprising to me. So let me know in the comments what you think about that. But as Steve Jobs once said, but wait, there's more. This is my other, other, other account. I'm trying to get four accounts to Diamond just because. This one also doesn't have instant training also started at rank one and as you see here we've got i'm in a random random task force so congrats to cami i don't know who that is i don't know who any of these players are um joker's high for example let me just show you what joker's high base looks like um this one is one of those ones where you just go omg so yes i'm in a task force with someone who has one two three four five boosted green statues hoping to show them the way, but nonetheless, um, we're going to do some quick battles here. I am really, really liking this thing where people are putting their sky shield in the corner like this, making it impossible to shock that shock launcher. Also have seen it in here, just experimenting with it because I want to see 
if it's possible to shock it. I only see this layout a couple times, and it's usually over in this nook right here, just to say the word nook. Um, so this base is not ideal, but I'm really, really liking this whole sky shield covering the shock launcher, making it impossible to shock thing. It's not optimal because having your last engine room in the corner is clearly better because you get more mine action, but... We're going to keep going. I'm using all sorts of crazy troops on this account simply because I don't have instant training and I wanted to get my last chest. So even if we don't get to diamond, I'm kind of feeling like that window to get to diamond has closed a little bit, but we're still going to give it a shot and see what the heck can be done. So on this one, I'm going to loop around the right hand side using my seekers and I'm going to drop my... Um, what are these guys? Uh oh, that's not what's supposed to be dropped over there. I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and hope that I can get my Seekers heading in this general direction back here. And then we can throw a Shock there, and maybe even a Barrage there, just to keep the troops moving on forward. And yeah, that's about the extent of where we're at here. So um, all of our Seekers going into that not... Oh, see, I hate this. This is the problem with Seekers. You can never be 100% sure which engine room they're going to go to, and as a result, they have all died, and now I look like a complete and utter dummy as I try to take out that last engine room in a hurry, and it's not going to go well because we've got no troops left, we've got no GBE left, I should say, and we're just hoping that all of those barrages and all of those... Um, bombardiers get their last shots off and hit that engine room quickly because if we don't look at that boom no troops left no GBE left three minute time not ideal so I was fully fully expecting my seekers to go to that engine room and that basically sums up seekers for me as we watch Brichtly, Brichty, um, dropping some weird combo of troops. They've got heavies and bombardiers. Now they're bringing the Seekers in. So we should have enough time to take out the win on this. And that's just showing really at this point in the season or any point in the season, if you're decent with Seekers, you can get to about rank 20, early rank 20, and then things start to get difficult. Those boss battles to get into Diamond can be incredibly, incredibly difficult as we watch the boom mines just shredding their seekers. I love, love, love watching that. There's a certain amount of satisfaction in just watching someone's troops die as they frantically tried to get the rest of their troops in here. But this person's going to have Everspark and a couple heavies, so this is probably going to just be one of those moments where we just have to hang out and watch and wait and now they've forced closed so that's gonna even take make this take that much longer so bridge T um, not a big fan of your work and a couple people in my comments that they like to do like save the core when it gets to the point in the battle where they realize they've lost I don't condone that behavior just be a good teammate take or be a good opponent take your loss on the chin is my general feeling oh there we go so their battle is done let's keep going we're gonna do one more just trying to keep this moving let me know in the comments what rank you're at currently um, and what rank you're hoping to get to um, if you've parked otherwise um, I really, really do hope that at some point they make it so that it's all about actually playing the game. Because parking to me is not really, not ideal at all. Like, literally not at all. I'm going to actually go, um, I think I'm going to go with all Seekers, but then try to get rid of that back, back stuff. So we're going to go... Actually, I said all Seekers, and I didn't actually mean all Seekers. So I'm going to go like this, and then I'm going to drop some GBE on some of these mines. One, two, and then we're just going to wait for that to clear. And the reason why I'm throwing this GBE is because I really, really don't like... Uh-oh, that back, back bunch of mines. It's not about the... It's about these mines right here. That's what I was after. Okay, so now that we got all of this stuff happening, waiting to get that next shock out there, getting in... Uh-oh. I only had 11 GBE. Here I thought I had 12. Only have 11. Really, really, really need to clean up my act because these attacks are not going well at all. And as a result, I'm going to lose and I have to do an extra battle to get my chest. And that is the worst case. I don't mind losing. I hate losing, to be honest. But I don't mind it if it means that I can actually get my chests. But at this point, there's nothing, I don't think, that I can actually use the chest towards. So... 
not a big deal. Um, Erisin, I really do wish that it showed their times there because doing the math to figure out how long it look at that that is not a good streak at all one two three four five six seven losses two wins one draw clearly this account needs to figure something out but um i was at i think 20 and a half and now i'm at 19 so um i am throwing my tokens into um rocket launchers at this point and the reason for that is why the heck not also speaking of rocket launchers i clearly forgot to place one um, and the reason why I'm getting rocket launchers, even though I said rocket launchers are the worst thing this season, is because I'm not going to go to five engine rooms. So I might as well get extra defenses just because 1% extra damage is better than no percent extra damage. Anyways, let me know in the comments what you are doing in warships, what you're hoping to do if you're parked, if you're playing, if you're doing multiple accounts, if you think I'll get four accounts in the diamond, if you think the mega turtle is going to be awesome. Otherwise, I shall talk to you soon. Season 9 coming February 1st. Talk to you soon. Back to back with Mega Crab. Not my favorite. Thanks for coming in. I'm Zedmont. Peace.